guys, so today we are in Westwood Stratford. I literally just got myself a pan and ice. This is the best ice cream ever. So if you haven't tried it yet, you need to. So me and Greg thought we'd start off today with a little bit of a vlog. We are going to be going to Misguided today. And then afterwards I'm going to show you a little haul of what products I picked up. I just thought I'd change it up because in normal videos it's a bit boring, you know, the same setting all the time. So let's go to the Misguided store. Yes! Yeah. So I'm going to take you guys into shopping with me. Shopping with me. So let's go. I don't know what I want. I want kind of like summer clothing. LA vibes. You know? Let's go. My favorite part. I love chokers and accessories, the earrings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I have to get this. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> We are finally done guys. I spent two hours in the store. We're so hungry as well, but when I shop I'm like, I put stuff up, elimination, then go through and eliminate again, eliminate again. So hopefully the bill won't be too expensive. But I've got some really nice stuff, I can't wait to show you guys. Hi guys, so we are back in the chair, back in my little homemade studio. So I'm going to be showing you the haul and try on part from the misguided store that I shopped at earlier today. I hope you guys kind of like kind of shopping with me. Let me know if you kind of enjoyed it because I feel like this setting is like the only setting that you guys see on my channel. So I really want to start doing more vlogs and incorporating more lifestyle stuff kind of you know let me know if you enjoyed it yeah let's get started so here is the misguided bag and the total came to about 200 pounds so the first item that we have here is very similar to the hoodie that i have on at the moment and i love this one it says oh la la on it and this is from primark i saw this on one of the girls that work there that's how they get you guys they have like these pretty little people that work in there and they all wear misguided clothing i'm like hmm where is that so she looks really nice she had a nice like slim thick body so i was like <laughs> maybe after my bbl so this is the first item that i picked up this is like a cropped jumper and it's from the barbie x misguided range and the whole reason why i want to go to misguided is because i wanted to pick up stuff from the barbie collection but nearly enough everything was sold out all of the stuff that was left over that you can see why it was left over because it wasn't that nice like, it was okay but not not really really nice you know i really had my eyes on this particular tracksuit bottom it is like a camo print and it has like a pink band on it and it just looks so cute but they literally only had size 6 or size 16 there was like nothing in the middle i thought this is really cute it's a bit plain it's just literally like a cropped jumper and it's very very like cropped guys so a lot of your belly will kind of show it's a bit longer than the one i have on at the moment which i really like i'm like mm, a bit sexy you wear the under boob yes and I got this in a size 8. When I went to the till, the lady was like, oh, have you tried this on? And I was like, no. And she was like, I had to get like a size 4 because it comes up really, really big. And I was like, really? It is quite big, actually. Oh, yeah, it is big. <laughs> but I actually quite like it when it's more baggy. I don't like it when it's too fitted, you know? And then because the tracksuit buttons wasn't in stock, I thought I'll pick up these to go along with them. These are in a size 10. Grand told me to get a size 8 in these, but I was like, I want it to be stretchy. I hate wearing tracksuit buttons. That's really, really tight. So I thought these are really, really cute. They're like fake Adidas ones. You know Adidas has, like, the stripe on the side? These only have two stripes, not three stripes. <laughs> 
they're not like cottony they're kind of like not silky either i don't know how to explain it guys but it's like a stretchy material i really like it because you can tie it up at the waist and it's also like black and white so i can wear it with that barbie jumper and then i've also got like my ultra boots which is also black and white so i thought they'll go together really nicely okay the next item i picked up very last minute this was like a last minute purchase inside the basket you guys know if you follow me on instagram i love floral and i love play suits so they are like right up my street so this is like a bit of both like double whammy it looks like this so it's quite plunging underneath but i think this will look really cute if you've got one of those chokers that go down your neck or if you have one of those like gold tattoos like in the center of your chest i think this will look really really pretty with it and what sold me on it was the detail on the leg it's got like this lace up detail so basically you can scrunch this up so it looks really really short so it basically makes your leg a little bit longer so yeah i really like this i've got this in a size 10 because the size 8 was was a bit straight down here and i want it to kind of flare out a little bit and i just love like white and red together i think this looks so nice with a tan okay the next item that i picked up is actually a size 12 because i liked it so much and i was like mm, mm, i could be a size 12 i'm normally like a size 10 to 8 but they literally didn't have no more size. They had like a size 6, a size 14, and a size 12. So I was like, I'm just going to be a size 12. And I think it looks quite small for a size 12, to be honest. Basically, I like it because it has pockets. You guys know how I feel about pockets. I do not know why items do not come with pockets. Like today, I wore this outfit. I was like, for fuck's sake, I have no fucking pockets to put my phone in and, you know, all that stuff. I'm like, why do people not create pockets? Why? If I ever create a clothing, like everything's going to be with pockets. So I really like the way that it kind of like gathers up at the waist and then it kind of flares out. And this is a bit more like smart as well. I love wearing white whenever I have like a tan. I'm going to get a spray tan tomorrow so I know this will look banging. But I just love the fact that you can't see like any of the buckle and stuff like that. It's all hidden underneath because sometimes when you see like big exposed zippers and stuff, I know it makes it look a bit cheaper, a bit more tacky. But this is like really nice and seamless and streamlined. Okay, next up I picked up these pyjamas. And these pyjamas were, how much were they? They were like £30. But... I love the way it's cut. It's like a really, really cute cut. It's got like short sleeves. Normally pyjamas like this, they have like long sleeves. But I really wanted a style like this, but with short sleeves. More like a t-shirt style. And then it also comes with these really cute little shorts as well. I actually got this in a size 12. And the bottom's in a size 10. Because I don't like it when the top is too tight. The only thing is, guys, you're going to laugh at me. Because it says bridesmaid on the back. Bitch, I ain't no bridesmaid. I'm not going to be no bridesmaid. I'm not even going to be a bride. So... I don't know why I decided to get this because I'm not gonna be a bridesmaid, but I just love the style so much. Like, who cares what it looks like from the back? But I just think it looks so cute. So, they also have like a bride one and other bridesmaids one. So, if you are getting married, Miss Guided do like really nice pajamas and stuff. So, they are really, really cute. They also come in like a white one for the bride. But I just really love this set. Like, I would wear this out. You know what I mean? Like, with some nice sliders and stuff, you know, pajama chic. No? Anybody know? Okay, last clothing item that I picked up. This is so cute. This is a little bit like whole. This is a little bit hoe-ish. But you know, when you style it out, hopefully you won't look too trampified, you know? <laughs> you dirty tramp. So this is in a size 8. And how much was this bitch? This was £22. And I really like it because when I saw this on the mannequin, I was like, I want that skirt. But when I looked behind it, they did pin it. So it looked really nice and like tapered. Like she had a really small waist and it kind of like flared out the hip. And that's how they get you, you know. They freaking pin the mannequin behind and then you're like, mm, I want to look like that. Really, you're going to look like a square box in it. But I always see people wear like skirts like this with like a little crop top on Instagram. And I just think it looks so cute and I don't have anything that's PVC kind of style. I just think it looks really nice and edgy. I love the fact that it has pockets pockets take note fashion company brands pockets <laughs> and yeah i just thought it looked really really cute this also come in like a red style as well i think but i just love the black and then last but not least i just have two more chokers but i just wanted to show you this this is my most exciting purchase of the whole haul it's this clutch here you guys could probably be thinking like this boy black clutch is why you're most excited but look it has this kind of like buckle detail here and you put your hand in like this. It fits your hand perfectly. You hold it like this. Yeah. So you're literally walking like slaying outfit the day photos. Yes. The reason why I love it so much is because you can open it up. So it has two little magnetic buckle things. And then it's also got a zip in here. But I really like the fact that if you want to, you can stuff this out. You can just literally have it like this. And then just wear it like this. Like if you really need to, you know. 
have the whole thing shebang shebang. Obviously, I do you don't want it to be like you want it to fold over and look cute. But it's also got a chain in there, so you can wear it as like a um, crossbody bag and it's really wide so you're able to fit i think like flat shoes in here so that's my problem i have a lot of time with clutches a lot of them you can't fit flat shoes in there and bitch whenever i'm wearing clutches i'm probably going to wear heels right so i need to bring a pair of flat shoes so i always buy those cheap primark rubber ones those really really cheap ones i don't even care if i roll over them if they're like scruffy af i can just literally put it in this bag and then i have my backup for the night you know because I can't be going out in heels and not bring flats. Like for me, it's literally like I'd rather not go out. <laughs> just take the photo and pretend I'm going out and then just tag myself as if I'm going out. But I'm not actually at home in pajamas, you know, with spot cream all in my face. But I just think this is so cute, so fashionable. I know it's quite simple. This is £25. And I just think it's a perfect size for flats, guys. Perfect. You fit your phone in here, you fit keys, some makeup, and you still have extra room. And then if anything, you can like pack it out a bit more if you do want to like just put your heels in here instead of like holding it and stuff i just love this detail it just fits your hand like perfectly you know and then it's also got the crossbody detail if you don't want to hold it yeah that is my favorite purchase of them all and then you guys know i have a choker obsession girl i only have one neck i don't know why i think i need so many fucking chokers but you know yolo so i bought two chokers i have this really small one that i got from this guy a couple of days ago and i'll show you this is like a i don't know what this is called it has like multicolored. it's got like all these different tones to it it's got like like pink green blue it's just so so pretty every single time i wear it on i get so many compliments and i really like it because it's thin but i saw this one which is like the mama version to it and it's like exactly the same but it's a lot chunkier so it's more like a statement one you can't really see it on camera but when you go inside spotlight oh my god this is like bing it has like all these different tones to it and i love it this is my favorite type of like diamonty when it has like loads of different like tones to it you know i also picked up this choker here so it has this kind of like wavy chokery style to it it looks like almost like thunder is it thunder i don't know what it looks like but i just feel well, it's so cool it has like a bit more detail than just like a straight choker you know it gives your neck a bit more dimension <laughs> How many dimensions can your neck have? I don't even know, girl. All right, guys, so that's it for this misguided haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed coming around with me as well as me showing you guys what I bought and trying it on and everything for you guys. If you like the products that I bought today, I'm going to link them all separately down below so you can click exactly to the products that I purchased. If I can't find it, then I'll try to find some alternatives. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe before you leave. Also, make sure you follow me on all my other social media platforms. It's just X, Tweely, or Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I'll see you guys later, guys. Enjoy the boopers. Bye bye now. Why is my hair looking crazy, bitch? Glad it's snoring away. Oh my god, this fucking hair. What is up with this bitch? It's like, um, what's this? It's like, what's it called? It's got like short sleeves. You guys see what I put up with every night. Glad you're snoring. Jesus Christ, I'm trying to film here. Shut up, I have to film YouTube videos. You have to work while I'm away, bitch. While we're talking about multicultural co- Multicultural? I just call my choker multicultural. My gosh, guys, this video is only 15 minutes long. Normally, I film for like at least half an hour. God, I was going to have a good time editing this. Should I sabotage him? What else can I do? <laughs> Make this video longer. <laughs> Guys, you having fun editing this?